Ah, okay, this is good. No, this is perfect. Chat, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. One in the chat if we do it like this. I think, I think this is good. Okay, so, boys, four perks. God tier, horrible tier, bad tier, designs after. I mean, yeah, we could. Okay, let's start off. Chat, what is the worst perk ever created? I'm gonna say it. Deadshot Black Ops 1 is easily one of the worst perks ever created. Deadshot Black Ops 1, horrible tier perk. And let me find Double Tap 1.0. Chat, Double Tap 1 also belongs in horrible tier because it is terrible. Chat, what is worse? Deadshot 1 or, or, or sorry, Double Tap 1 or Black Ops 1 Deadshot? Which one is worse? Because I'm thinking about it here. Nah, Deadshot is worse. Because at least Double Tap 1 can make some weapons kind of useful. Double Tap hurts you. Deadshot does nothing. That is true, though. But it waits a perk slot. Wasting a perk slot is already doing too much. Can I be real with you, boys? I think that is it for the horrible tier list. I'm pretty sure that's it. Like, I think these are all fine. I think these are all fine. Deadshot is easily the worst perk ever. Why are some of the perks duplicated? Because this, so this is Black Ops 1 Deadshot, and this is actually Cold War Deadshot. Chat, I am going to put originals who, original who's who just above it. And there's only one reason why. It's because who's who has an ability on solo that lets you, when you have Quick Revive and who's who, you just instantly pick yourself up. And that is such a strong ability. And that is literally the only reason I made it to die rise round 100. So who's who is definitely better than Double Tap 1.0 and Deadshot 1.0, in my honest opinion. I think just because of that, it's good. It's just bad with only four perk slots. That's true, but it's on die rise. So you can get every perk on die rise. So... I mean, it is a good perk just for that. Um, the next tier, I'm going to have to say after who's who. Um, I think also has to be original tombstone. Where is original tombstone? Do I see original chat? Where is original tombstone? Original tombstone is shit. One in the chat if you guys know that. Like original tombstone is shit. But on co-op, it is actually time. really good. So that is what I'm going to say. Original Tombstone. Okay, chat. Is Tombstone or Who's Who better? Huh. That's actually a really good question. I really feel like these are interchangeable because it really just depends on if you're playing solo or co-op. But no, on co-op, you can do a lot more with Who's Who. So you know what? Yeah, Tombstone is a D tier. It's the worst of the D tier. And then Who's Who is better. I think Who's Who is just slightly better than Tombstone. I have to say. It's just slightly better, but it's trash still. Uh, the next one I think we're going to have to put in is Blaze Phase. Blaze Phase is really a terrible perk. It is one of the worst perks ever made. I think we can all agree, agree with that. The reason why I'm not putting it in F tier is solely because of the fact that it can get you out of situations. It does have a use. Is it an important perk to have? Absolutely fucking not. So no, I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna put it in D tier because it really is just not that great. And chat, another perk that I think I'm gonna put in, in here from BO4 is Death Perception. BO4 Death Perception definitely deserves to be in there. The modifier is ass on it. The perk is ass. It's a waste of a slot. It's completely terrible. Let's go into C tier. I think there are a lot of perks that belong in C tier. Uh, what is the worst perk that belongs in C tier? Stone Cold Stronghold. Stone Cold Stronghold is a very situational perk, I think. I think it's the worst of the C tier category. Um, just because... You have to camp and you have to make it your modifier for it to be useful. So yes, it does have, it does have a use, but unfortunately it's just not that great in my opinion, to be honest. It's just not that great. Also, and I think as well, another C tier is going to be zombie shell, but it's going to go right above stone cold stronghold just because I believe zombie shell is a good perk. Like it's a usable perk. If I were to get it, I would want it. But the thing is, shot is it's situational at best, you know, but it's really good if you're actually using it. Also, another people, a lot of people are saying Blood Wolf Bite for low C. 
Chat, there's a glitch with Blood Wolf Bite. If you have it as your modifier, you get infinite ammo. So that is why I believe if used in the right case, I believe Blood Wolf Bite is at least a B tier perk. Just because of that one aspect to it. Because that is literally what makes it so amazing, man. Chat, what else can be put into C tier here? Mule Kick 1.0? You know what? I agree. I agree. Mule Kick 1.0, I think we put at the top of C tier. It gives you a third gun. It's good. But the problem is, if you down, you lose it right and you can't get it back unfortunately that really is the problem with that so i do agree i think yeah bo like black ops one mule kick definitely is a c tier perk you can lose it it doesn't even tell you which weapon you have the mule kick icon on so pretty shit in that regard i have to say um but chat you know what i actually think that's gonna be it for c tier i don't think anything else deserves to be in c tier to be quite honest with you, chat, I really, it's 4,000 points as well. Yeah, I think Cold War Tombstone should kick off B. I agree. Uh, but yeah, I agree. Cold War Tombstone will be the bottom of B. It is a very not useful perk other than if you down, you get all your perks back in Cold War. Um, I mean, on co-op, it has its uses. But on solo, the only usage you get is if you down, you get all your perks when you get it back, right? And also, if you don't have a quick revive, it can actually get your shit. So, that's what I'm going to say. Definitely a B tier perk here. I think what else belongs in the B tier, I don't know if this is the perfect spot for it, but I think Electric Cherry is a B tier perk. I mean, Electric Cherry, for some reason, when you play on Mob of the Dead is just an A tier perk. I don't know what it is on Mob of the Dead, but it's so much better on Mob of the Dead. I don't know why. Like on Mob of the Dead, it's for sure an A. But I think in general, Electric Cherry is a B tier perk. I, I think it's a great perk to have on that map, but there are better alternatives than that in my soul opinion. There's you know what chat? Ones. Another B perk that I think I'm gonna put in is Ethereal Razor from BO4. Ethereal Razor is an amazing perk, but again, it's like the other BO4 perks that we've rated. Um, it's very situational. So like Alpha Omega, you can get to round 100 literally with Ethereal Razor. So obviously for that strat, it's an S tier perk. However, there's not a lot of times where I'm only playing melee only, right? Ethereal Razor, it just gives you more melee damage. That's all it does. Um, and it makes your, your swing wider so you can kill more than one zombie at once. It's a very good perk, but I think it belongs in B tier solely because it's a situational perk. Bandolier Bandit is an incredible perk, I think. But... I believe it's, again, very situational. You're not always going to be running this when you play BO4. Depends on the strat that you're running. But I do believe that it is one of the better perks on BO4. Should Bandolier be A or B? A? Maybe you're right. Maybe, like, it is a good perk and I run it a lot. I think we put it at the bottom of A. Do we put it at the bottom of A? Or do we put a high B? Top of B? You can't put it in A and have Electric Cherry in B. I mean, that's true. That's true. Let's put it top of B. Chat, anything else that deserves to be in B? The only other thing that I'm thinking deserves to be in B might be Time Slip. Time Slip should be top of B. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, Time Slip is a B. Uh, chat, okay. Time Slip is a B solely because... You need to put it on the modifier for it to have its best effects, where it recharges everything on the map. Yes, it's an amazing perk. It allows you to hit the box faster and stuff. It's really nice. But yeah, I don't think it's that great. Also, somebody said Cold War Speed Cola. Yes, 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 yes. I'm saying that top of B for Cold War Speed Cola, I think so. Chat, is Bandolier above Time Slip or is Time Slip below Bandolier? I think this actually is the better order here. And Blood, yeah, I think this is the better order here. Bandolier above Time Slip, I think for most occasions, I would say yeah. bo 4 perks are just situational for real. Yeah. And chat, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I know a lot of people might not agree with this, Blood Wolf Bite, again, it's another situational perk. Uh, maybe I should rank it lower. I don't want to put it top of B. I'm going to put behind Time Slip. I'm going to put it behind Time Slip. Just because there's a there's a way with a Blood Wolf Bite that you can put it on your modifier and get infinite ammo. But again, it's situational. 
There's only like a couple maps that I would use this on. So I think that we have this pretty much nailed so far. Um, Chad, the thing is though, it, the glitch that makes it so situational, you get infinite ammo. Like, it deserves to be in B because of that. And you know what, chat? I'm gonna say Electric Cherry is better than all the BO4 perks. What do you guys think about this? I think my F tier is perfect. I think my D tier is perfect. I think my C tier is perfect too. And yeah, I think my B tier is perfect as well. Because Tombstone on Cold War is really shit. It's easily the shittiest perk. But then you have all these BO4 perks. Like, these four are, like, somewhat good, but they're situational. Right? Electric Cherry is better, and then Speed Call. Yeah, I like that. That's a good B tier, chat. I like that. That is a good B tier. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I think for the bottom of A, we put in Winter's Whale. Winter's Whale at the bottom of A because... Ah, uh, maybe... No, I, I, some people tell me that Winter's Whale is better than Widow's Wine. No, okay. No, seriously, chat. Bottom of A, I think, should be Elemental Pop. Cold War, Death Perception, A. Yeah, I agree. Death Perception... I actually think it's easily one of the better perks in Cold War. Like, sometimes I buy Death Perception first. You never use it in your high rounds, correct? No, I did. Literally just yesterday. I had, um, I had, I played Voyage in 9, round 100, just a couple days ago. And I had Blood Wolf Bite on both of them, and they were really helpful. BO1 Stamina, true. Chat, you know what? I, I actually agree. BO1 Stamina up, bottom of A. Do we agree with that? I agree with that. BO1 Stamina Up, bottom of A. It is the worst version of Stamina Up. I have to say, it's the worst version of Stamina Up, and it just doesn't live up to everything, in my opinion. Deadshot also deserves to be an A tier, but I can't tell where. Where should it be? Below Death Perception chat or above Death Perception? The order of these three, I don't know which, which ones. Because I think Elemental Pop, bottom of A. Yep, I agree with that. Then we put Death Chat. Is Death Perception better than Deadshot on Cold War? I think it is, man. I think it is because Salvage is everything on Cold War. Salvage is... If you get early Salvage, I say it's better. I really believe getting Death Perception, getting more Salvage can be way better. Death Perception is better than Deadshot, which is better than Elemental. I think I've got it right here. Yeah. PhD Slider also goes in A, but okay, chat, pre-nerf, this perk used to be shit. This perk used to be shit, and it didn't give you full uh, explosive immunity, but now it does, which is why I believe it belongs in A. Chat, anything else that belongs in A that isn't fully immediately S? Um, old Quick Revive? You know what? I agree with that. Old Quick Revive should be an A tier perk, chat. I think old Quick Revive should be the best of the A tiers, though. They should be the top perk solely because, I mean, it's great in solo, but co-op on, like, chat, who buys Quick Revive on co-op? Not a lot of people buy Quick Revive on co-op in the older games, right? So I believe, yeah, it should be an A tier perk because it's not exceedingly mandatory. Also, chat, I think I'm going to put Vulture Aid right behind it. Vulture Aid right behind Quick Revive, I believe. Vulture Aid is one of my favorite perks of all time. And it really could be an S tier perk if it was on more of the maps. But, I mean, it just simply isn't, which is too bad. But chat, where would Cold War PhD be? I say S tier. I'm gonna be honest, chat, it's an S tier perk. Cold War PhD, the, the amount you can slide... It's an S tier perk, I'd say. I'm trying to think if Victorious is an A tier or an S tier perk. I think it's an S tier perk. I think it's an S tier perk. And I think it's the bottom of S tier, though. Just because it's so good, man. The um, No, it, I think it's an S tier, man. The, this is really the hardest part because it's we're trying to really figure out here what is the best perk, right? Chat, what is the... Okay, let's go from top to bottom now. Elemental Pop cancels out like your variants like Easter eggs for the Cerberus for Brain Rot. It sucks. But the thing is, you run it for high rounds though, right? So I believe it's an A tier, tier perk, but it's the bottom of A, right? Chat, what is the best perk of all time? I would even argue, chat, I would argue it's Double Tap. I would argue it's Double Tap 2.0. I'd actually argue it's Double Tap. Cold War PhD would be S tier. I think it would be at the bottom. Chat, I'm going to say this 
and I know a lot of people might not agree with me, but Widow's Wine is the second best perk of all time. I really believe that. Widow's Wine is better than Jug. I have to say that. Widow's Wine is one of the most OP perks of all time. It deserves to be one or two. It is better than Jug. It, it is literally way better than Jug. It is so powerful. Chat, would it be fucking heinous if I put Winter's Whale ab above Jug? That perk used to suck before all of its nerfs, but then they patched it. And now with the modifier, it is literally one of the greatest perks of all time. It, chat, Winter's Whale used to be an F tier perk. I'm not even joking. Pre-patch, this used to be an F tier perk and it used to be dog shit. But now I would actually argue and say it's top three perks. Not as good as window Widows, I would agree. But it is still a top tier perk. Chat, okay, now here's the question. What is better, Cold War Juggernog or regular Juggernog? Because I think Jug has to be next. OG Jug is better? True. Cold War Jug, you have to upgrade. Yep. No, I agree. OG Jug is better than Cold War Jug. I will have to say. Okay. Now this is where it gets hard because I don't know where to rank. Chat. Cold War Mule Kick is one of the greatest perks of all time. You get free ammo. Like, I think it should literally be above. I think it's top S tier. Like, you get ammo. Why is Double Tap number one? Because it's literally every gun becomes better. Chat, okay. Double Tap 2.0, where should it go? Where should it go? Because I think the criteria behind this list should be number one, survivability. Number two, damage and upgrades for yourself, right? Chat, what if I put it right here? I actually agree. You know what? I actually have to say, Widow's Wine, I think, is the best perk of all time. I really have to say, I believe Widow's Wine is the best perk of all time. Then, then Winter's Whale, which is insane. And then Jug. Then Double Tap 2.0. Okay, now this makes sense to me. Double Tap 2.0 and then Cold War Jug. Uh, how? What if you run out of nades? The thing is, though, is it drops more nades by killing zombies. It is you, you get so much for one perk. You cannot use double tap 2.0 on high rounds. That's true. That is true. So you know what, chat? You know what I'm going to say? Cold War Mule Kick goes right behind OG Jug. I think it deserves to be there. I, I think it deserves to be there because it gives you so much ammo. Cold War Quick Revive should be above Jug. I agree. It is stupid broken. I agree. Cold War Quick Revive is stupid broken. It is stupid broke. It's infinite revives. It is way better than OG Jug. You can't survive without Quick Revive. Yeah, Quick Revive easily is up here. I How is stamina up that low? Because Black Ops 1 stamina up is not that great compared to Cold War stamina. Chat, where does Cold War stamina up go? I don't know where Cold War stamina up goes. Speed Cola after double tap. I agree. I agree. I agree with that. Speed Cola is a better perk than Double Tap because it works on all the guns, not just one of the guns. Stamina Up, I don't know where this goes though because Cold War Stamina Up is arguably one of the greatest perks ever. And also BO4 Stamina Up is arguably one of the greatest perks ever. Above OG Stam Up Speed Cola. You know, I agree with that Spot Kingman because I have to say the best perk on Cold War is Quick Revive and Mule Kick. I do, I do have to agree. Speed is not S, it is S. Chat, name me one high round run that does not run Speed Cola. Speed Cola is an S tier perk, no matter what you say. Stamina Up, Cold War Stamina Up is an S tier perk. Chat, I put PhD, Cold War PhD, right in between Stamina Up and Speed Cola, I think. Because that perk is just amazing, man. The best zombies map of all time. Cold War you PhD would be up an S. Um, Turtle Last? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so chat, this is what I'm gonna do. T Victorious Tortoise is bottom of S because it is just so good. Chat, I do think though that Dying Wish is better than Tortoise. What do you guys think about that? Double tap less than Dying Wish. See, yeah, that just doesn't make sense. Okay, F tier, D tier, and C tier, I think we have unlock. These three are perfect. It's really B, A, and S that I'm struggling with. Dying Wish better than Cold War Jug? I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. I do agree with that. Double Tap 2.0, I think, needs to stay in S, but I think it needs to stay behind Speed Cola. 
I think that is the best spot for it. Okay, chat. Cold War Jug should be an A tier because of the armor system alone. Hmm. You know what? I agree with that. Cold War, Cold War Jug top of A. I actually agree with that. Cold War Jug top of A. And you know what, chat? I think we bump, bump Quick Revive up to bottom of S tier. Because everybody takes Quick Revive. Right? I think we bump this perk up to bottom of S. Okay, chat, where does regular PhD go? I have to say, chat, hmm. Is PhD not a, an S tier perk, chat? Like, chat, there was a time and place where I thought PhD was an S tier perk, right? It's A or B. Hmm. I don't think it's B. PhD is not a B tier perk by any means. You know what? I think I agree with that. Just above BO4 PhD. I actually agree with that. Okay. Let's go over this list now, chat. Let's see. I think it's worse than PhD slider. Oh, that is kind of true because the flop isn't as powerful as the slide. That is actually very true. The slide is more powerful than the flop. So I'm going to put it below. This is fair. Chat, I think this is the best tier list we can do. Okay, worst perk by far, Deadshot 1.0. Then de Double Tap 1.0. I agree. These two perks are actively shit. They will not help you whatsoever. Tombstone has its uses. Who's Who has its uses. Death Perception, again, it depends on the strat. But these are just not that great. Only thing I'd change is Cold War, Quick Revive, and Winter's Whale. The thing is, though, man, Winter's Whale is so good chat is cold war quick revive better than winter's whale or no i don't think a lot of people know how good this perk is which is why i don't think people really understand it but i do have to say blaze phase chat is the worst bl4 perk one in the chat if you agree i think that's fair blaze phase is easily the worst bl4 perk then stone cold stronghold then zombie shell yep then mule kick i mean i think these are fair okay you know i have got a great spot Electric Cherry goes behind Elemental Pop. Elemental Pop has Electric Cherry built into it, so it it can't be better than Elemental Pop. Did I just... Oh, I was about to say. Yeah, I think this is better. Electric Cherry is better than Stamina from the older games. I do have to say, yeah, this is the perfect spot, I think. Bandolier is better than Time Slip. Yep. Cold War Speed Cola is better than all these. Yep. I agree with that. It only makes sense that the best perks will help you for every round. Double tap is not an S tier. The thing is though, chat, this is where I argue with double tap. Okay, this is where I argue. Sometimes double tap works with certain wonder weapons. You can shoot the wonder weapon faster, right? So that is why I do think it deserves to still be an S. Because some wonder weapons you actually can shoot faster. Right? And it increases special ammo type chances. It works on the ray gun. I think it deserves to be an S. I think it deserves to be the S. It decreases AA cooldown. I, it definitely deserves to be an S. Cold War Speed Coal is D tier. Nah, it's better than all of these perks. Chat, should I make an S plus tier? Should there be an SS tier, boys? Maybe there should. Let's make like the cream of the crop here. So Widow's Wine, yeah, these five I think for sure go here. These five I believe go here without a doubt. These five are all SS chat. Jug, the one of the greatest perks of all time. Mule Kick gives you ammo. Quick Revive, literally infinite Quick Revives. Yeah, Cold War PhD would be like bottom of double S, I think, Kingman. Or it could be top of S. Chat, should I should I move Vulture? I think Vulture is an A tier perk. I don't think Vulture is an S tier perk. Vulture is an A tier perk. It's the literally a worse of version time. of Mule Kick. He know dirt right? Black Vin Drake, thank you for the prime. Widows is an L if you can't maintain the Widows wine. But the thing is, most of the time you can. It's really not that difficult. You just shoot the zombies. Vulture Age should go above Cold War Jug. You know, I agree with that because you actually get rest periods with Vulture Age. Stop lying to yourself. Jug is better than Widows. Nope. No, it is not. Chat, what is better? Widows Wine or Jug? Widows Wine is the best perk of all time. I really have to say it. Chat, Widows Wine literally pauses the zombies. It pauses the zombies. It is the reason that Black Ops 3 is one of the easiest zombies games of all time. Widows is easily the best zombies map of all time. one of the best perks. I want to actually see what casuals say about this list because I think casuals will actually disagree with me heavy here. Top five zombie perks, Tay says. Dying Wish. Interesting. 
I think Dying Wish is an S tier. Cold War Stamina is also an S tier. Again, it really... with Perks are so good that it really just sort of depends on the situations, right? Like, what are the exact situations that you need, right? Vulture Aid, again, it's really situational, I think. But yeah, chat. I think that's a pretty good list.